Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're going to be taking a look at Wii Wheels. Not just the first party Nintendo brand Wii Wheel like you see before you, but a number of third party ones. Because in an effort to do some spring cleaning, I am going to be taking all my Wii Wheels and either putting them into storage or getting rid of them. I'm not sure which yet, but before I do that, I wanted to show them to you. Give a little bit of a mini review of different styles of Wii Wheels as well as the basic one. So first off, let's look at the model to beat. The standard Nintendo Wii Wheel. And the way that you can tell it's a actual legitimate Wii Wheel, if you turn it around, it will say Wii on the back and the center etched into the plastic. So that's the way you know it's a legitimate Wii Wheel. And there's a little button there. So Wii Wheels are actually meant to simulate driving controls. And obviously, that's kind of obvious, but just saying it so in case anyone's was like, well, what does it do? Do you just throw it down the street? Nope, it, it, you uh, use it to pretend like it's a steering wheel. So beep, beep. And where you put the Wiimote is right in the center. Now for the standard Wiimote, it fits, right, fits, fits like a glove. It fits almost as if the same company made the Wii Wheel as made the Wiimote. It's, it's kind, of, kind of crazy like that. And here, there's a little piece of glass, so it will still shoot out the infrared laser beam that it does. And on the back, there's that little hole, and what that's for is you can just pop the Wiimote right out. You see that button from before? That is used in case you want to trigger the button that's actually on the Wiimote back there. The Z trigger, I believe it is. No, the B trigger, I'm sorry. And you're going to see it does work perfectly well. It glows when I hit the actual Wiimote trigger. And that's the regular Wiimote. They, it is used for games like Mario Kart Wii and a handful of others, but mostly Mario Kart Wii is the one that people associate with the Wii Wheel. In fact, I do have the pack and Mario Kart Wii Wii Wheel, but story for another day. So let's move on to the third party jobs. And first, let's look at the ones that simply steal the Wii Wheel's design. I've got two of those, we have pink and green. I believe this one is a Madagascar themed Wii Wheel, so I don't know. And if you look on the back, you'll notice that there's not that standard Wii etching, but it looks identical. It's the exact same. If you pop in a Wii mode into this thing, it will function the same. And I got these two because I like pink and green, which are not what I pointed at. Pink and green. I am retarded today. Oh well. So these are the ones that basically mimic it. If you're going to get a third party Wii wheel, these are the ones that I would suggest getting. You're probably not going to get much of a price break on them because people will not know the difference, but they will come in cool colors. So check that out. Play the rainbow. Next up, we've got ones that are assembled. And the two that I have of that are actually the same one. I've got these two. These are known as Thrustmasters. First off, they're terrible because uh, if you put it in here and all that stuff, it there's a good chance that you might accidentally fling it out. However, the other thing is, it's called the Thrust... It's from Ubisoft, by the way. It's the Thrustmaster. I love... I... I can't make the joke because children might watch this, but the Thrustmaster, just think about it. And then go play Mario Kart with a different Wiimote than this. They, as I said, are break aparts. Don't they? Oh, there we go. Other way. And, uh. Okay, apparently they don't even break apart well. <laughs> so they're supposed to separate so you can condense them for storage. However,. They either break apart too easily or don't break apart easily enough in some cases. So, again, just use the regular Wii mode or the regular Wii wheel. And fine, well, not finally, we've got ones that are semi kind of sort of functional and ones that are in one piece, thankfully. So, we've got these four models, and the only one that has any kind of labeling is this Intec job. It's also black. And they all are very slightly different, which shows just how many companies were making these Wii Wheel knockoffs. Because the, the Mario Kart Wii was the best-selling game on the best-selling system of the generation. People were ripping the con people were ripping off the pl pieces of plastic, just like the NES era. We got this guy, this fellow. Thankfully, at least most of them have the thing to help f to let the the laser thing go through. And then this one. And uh, they're all very generic, they're all super generic, but they exist. I, I, do I have to say it again? Use a regular Wii Wheel. And finally, finally, we've got the worst of the worst. And for those that have been extremely long time viewers of the channel, this particular piece of crap is from the 10-in-1 sports kit from... I didn't even remember what it's from. 
It, but it's made of styrofoam. It doesn't feel right in your hands. It's, it has a big hole in the back, and it's made with Motion Plus in mind. So, which is actually kind of neat. It's the one. It's the one thing that's interesting about this is that it's the only Wii wheel I have that compensates for having a Motion Plus. You can see the little adapter point here, and uh, it does have a little hole here. But it's flimsy, it's cheap, and it can you can easily fling your Wii out of it. But you know what? It's another thing. You know what? And if, at this point, if you don't understand what I'm trying to say, just get a Wii Wheel. Just do it. Just go out and get Even if you don't have a driving game on your Wii, just get a Wii Wheel and use it as a Frisbee. Because uh, it would be better than ever getting this. This little styrofoam thing. I got really mad towards the end. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm calm. It's cool. This is just, this is just awful. And it kind of looks like a Pokeball now that I'm looking at it. There we go. Go play Pokemon, kids. Later days.